David Horace and Frederick Hardisty from Fort Simpson Northwest Territories in Canada were found dead in 2005 under strange circumstances after a wilderness hunting trip in the area of the Nahanni National Park. The men were inseparable friends. David was found in thick brush two weeks after disappearing and Fred's drowned body was found in the river two weeks after that. Both men were recovered in areas searched several times. The families of the two men have said they are not happy with the way the investigation was conducted and they want closure. What happened to the two men out there in the cabin in the Canadian wilderness? The area where they died has been linked to many strange mysteries over the years. On June 12, 2005, David Horace, a 60, and Frederick Hardisty went to the Rod Gunnarsson's cabin, 77 miles, 125 kilometers northwest of Fort Simpson. Rod was a good friend of the two men and saw them alive and well at the cabin. Both Hardisty and Horace were described as experienced bushmen, but when Rod had returned four days later, David and Freddie were missing. No note had been left and the cabin had been left in a suspicious state, although the authorities quickly discounted foul play. Nahanni National Park Reserve in Daicho region of the Northwest Territories, Canada, is around 300 miles west of Yellowknife and is 11,000 square miles in area. Part of the Mackenzie Mountains resides within it and the South Nahanni River, Nahade, is at its center. It was named a national park in 1976 and a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1978. The park is surrounded by huge peaks and features geysers, sinkholes, deep canyons, caves, gorges, and beautiful untouched forests. Within these stunning vistas lies Virginia Falls, a 96 meter 350 feet high waterfall, twice as high as Niagara Falls. The area is a true wilderness and has been largely unexplored as it is accessible only by air, water, or a long overland journey by food over several days. Nahani is from the language of the indigenous Dahe people that have inhabited the region for thousands of years and means the people over there. In reference to a tribe of mountain dwelling people known as the Naha who were once known to raid lowland settlements before mysteriously vanishing. There is speculation that they may have been the ancestors of the modern-day Navajo people. Over the years, there have been many mysterious stories that have emerged from the area. The names of park areas such as Dead Man Valley, Headless Creek, Headless Range, and the Funeral Range relate to these stories and legends. The same day Horace and Hardisti were reported missing, the RCMP started a search but terminated it on June 23rd after only a week. An employee from the Department of Environment and Natural Resources also used a thermal imager to search for the men. When the official search ended, friends and family continued looking for the men not wanting to give up on them. Constable Brad Parker of the Fort Simpson RCMP, anybody that we've talked to has said there's really no reason why they left the security of the cabin. There's no apparent signs of any problems that we can see. They left the cabin without any firearms. The firearms that were stored at the cabin were still there. There was plenty of food and shelter there, so nobody can seem to speculate as to why they left." End quote. On June 27, 2005, David's body was found in thick brush, 2.3 miles away from the cabin. Strangely, a member of the search team Jonas Anton said Horace had burns on his hands and arms. What caused the burns? Was he trying to light a fire? Did something happen in the cabin? The area was searched several times before the body was found, but it was said that the bush was so thick that teams missed the body. Whether this was actually the case, it is not possible to know. Perhaps the body was hidden, perhaps not. But if it was hidden, how did David end up there? The body was flown to Edmonton for an autopsy. Following this, the police brought in a police dog from Grand Prairie to help with the search for Fred. Then, 
On July 8, 2005, a search team found the body of Fred floating in North Nahani River, about 12.5 miles away from the cabin. It was an area searchers had already covered several times in canoes on the shore. Jonas Anton knew both men and said there were still many questions about how the two experienced woodsmen died. It was determined by the coroner that Horace died of hypothermia and Hardisti drowned. No other details of the autopsies are available. Members of the men's families called for public inquiry into the disappearance and deaths. The family filed a complaint in 2005 about the way the RCMP handled the case. The RCMP conducted an investigation, but they did not find anything wrong with the way the case was investigated. Quote, how could two men in one weekend both die, one in the river and one in the bush, said Rosemary Gill. Quote, it's very unsettling. There's no closure, end quote. Joseph Horace, David's stepbrother, said, quote, there was something else that happened. He said that when the search began, the RCMP didn't cordon off the cabin because there was nothing to indicate foul play and also that the search party and RCMP were camped out near the site during the search, which disturbed potential evidence. 